When you mention Filipino, oftentimes you picture this and this. They are known as some of the friendliest and happiest people in the world, but behind those smiles lies a resilience born from living in one of the most disaster-prone countries, constantly at the mercy of nature's unpredictable fury. Natural disasters happen everywhere, but the Philippines faces them more often and with greater intensity than most. Earthquakes shake its ground, volcanoes erupt, landslides tumble, and rising seas threaten its shores. The list of challenges seems endless. But why? The most simple answer is because of its geography. Join us as we try to explore this heartbreaking reality in this video. Nestled in the heart of Southeast Asia, the Philippines is a nation brimming with breathtaking diversity and irresistible allure. With over 7,600 islands scattered across crystal clear azure waters, it stands as a tropical paradise unlike any other. From its world-famous beaches to its verdant mountain landscapes, the country's natural wonders offer a feast for the senses, making every corner a sight to behold. Just take a look at this world map. The Philippines showcases one of the most striking and distinctive shapes in the world, as if it were masterfully crafted with deliberate design. However, this unique shape is the result of millions of years of natural processes. 50 million years ago, the Philippines bore little resemblance to its present form. At that time, the Earth's tectonic plates were slowly but relentlessly moving, reshaping the planet's landscape. The Philippines was born from this long, dramatic evolution, constantly shifting and transforming until it evolved into the stunning archipelago we see today. Recent groundbreaking discoveries suggest that the Philippines may have been inhabited more than 709,000 years ago, long before modern humans appeared on the scene by hundreds of thousands of years. This remarkable timeline places the Philippines among the nations with the longest histories of human habitation. The Philippines spans a total land area of approximately 300,000 square kilometers. While it may appear small at first glance, this archipelago is a vast expanse. With such a vast number of islands, it's no surprise that the Philippines is home to some of the world's most stunning beaches and idyllic destinations. It's no wonder tourism plays a pivotal role in the country's economy. In 2023, tourism accounted for around 8.6% of the country's GDP, attracting over 5.4 million international visitors. Iconic destinations like Boracay, El Nido, and Siargao consistently rank among the most beautiful beaches in the world, drawing travelers from across the globe to experience their pristine beauty and crystal clear waters. The Philippines isn't just blessed with paradise-like destinations, it's also a biodiversity wonderland, home to over 52,000 species of plants and animals, half of which exist nowhere else on Earth. This rich natural heritage makes the country a treasure trove for researchers and nature lovers alike. Take its approximately 200 species of mammals, for example. About 100 of them are unique to these islands. The numbers are just as impressive when it comes to birds, reptiles, amphibians, and marine life. The waters surrounding the Philippines are alive with over 500 species of coral and thousands of fish species, creating a vibrant underwater world teeming with life. For instance, Tubataha Reef was declared as a World Heritage Site in 2023 by UNICEF and is considered as the center of marine biodiversity. This underwater gem is home to 75% of the world's coral species and 40% of reef fish species making it one of the most ecologically significant marine ecosystems on the planet. With such breathtaking natural wonders, one might think the Philippines is blessed by its geographic location. Time and again, the Philippines is hit first and hardest with natural disasters, a reality that has brought grief and hardship to its people for thousands of years. In the Philippines, it's not uncommon for the country to be battered by around 20 typhoons each year, with five of those being particularly devastating. Think of it as uninvited guests, and there are 20 of them whose intention is to destroy your property. That's the reality for many Filipinos. Who could forget the devastation of Super Typhoon Haiyan in 2013? The world watched in shock as one of the most powerful storms ever recorded tore through the Philippines, claiming thousands of lives and leaving behind a trail of destruction 
that was nearly unimaginable. The once idyllic islands were left in ruins, forever marking a dark chapter in the country's history. So why is this archipelago such a magnet for typhoons? The answer lies in its geography. The Philippines is situated in the Pacific Ring of Fire, a region infamous for its volcanic activity and extreme weather patterns. The Ring of Fire is a vast, horseshoe-shaped belt of seismic activity encircling the Pacific Ocean. Stretching for nearly 40,000 kilometers, it's known for its dense concentration of earthquake epicenters, volcanoes, and tectonic plate boundaries. The belt is framed by deep ocean trenches on its oceanic side, with continental land masses resting behind it. It's not just famous for its name. This region is responsible for most of the world's earthquakes, including the most powerful ones, and is home to roughly 75% of all active volcanoes on Earth. This is clearly evident in the Philippines for it's dotted with active volcanoes, including the iconic Mayon Volcano, famed for its nearly perfect cone, and Taal Volcano, one of the smallest active volcanoes in the world. In 1991, Mount Pinatubo erupted in a catastrophic event that stands as one of the largest volcanic eruptions of the 20th century. It dramatically reshaped the surrounding landscape and had far-reaching effects, even influencing global climate patterns. With nearly 300 volcanoes scattered across its islands, 24 of them are classified as active, meaning they have erupted in the past and could potentially do so again. Over the last 400 years, the Philippines has experienced 44 significant volcanic eruptions, events that have instilled fear and wrought destruction on many communities. The most devastating earthquake in the Philippines, in terms of both the strength of its ground shaking and the death toll, occurred in southern Mindanao in 1976, known as the Moro Gulf earthquake. This tragic event claimed the lives of up to 8,000 people making it the deadliest earthquake in the country's history. A significant number of those who perished, as well as those injured or missing, were believed to have been swept out to sea. The country experiences thousands of tremors each year, most of which are so minor that they go unnoticed by the general public. We know that the Philippines' location in the Pacific Ring of Fire explains its frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. But how does that relate to typhoons? The answer lies in the heat generated by the region's many volcanoes. This heat warms the surrounding environment, and when combined with the tropical waters of the Pacific, it creates the perfect conditions for cyclones to form. As a result, the Philippines finds itself squarely in the path of these powerful storms year after year. Since typhoons thrive on warm ocean currents, countries like the Philippines, situated in this heated zone, become prime targets for these powerful storms. As long as the Pacific Ring of Fire remains active, the Philippines will continue to be a natural magnet for typhoons. The country is often regarded as the most vulnerable country in the world when it comes to natural disasters. This vulnerability is underscored by the World Risk Index 2023, which ranks the Philippines at the forefront due to its high exposure to a variety of natural hazards and significant societal vulnerabilities. However, resilience has become part of the culture. Filipinos face these challenges with strength and hope. But the reality remains that for many, surviving these disasters means more than bracing for the storm. It means finding ways to rebuild time and again. It's not uncommon for outsiders to be struck by the sight of Filipinos smiling amidst the chaos of a flood, even after a devastating typhoon has swept through. You might catch children splashing about in the water, laughter ringing out as they play, while some resourceful Pinoys find creative ways to make a living by helping stranded folks reach their destinations. Even during severe floods you'll often hear Filipinos say, Bahaka lang, Pinoy kami. Truly, there's no place quite like the Philippines, where resilience and joy shine through even in the toughest times. As they said on their previous tourism slogan, it's more fun in the Philippines. If you're interested to know more about the rich history of other countries, be sure to watch our next video. Hope you like our story. Catch you in the next one.